What's going on everybody? Come back. We're going to talk about how being diabetic now has thrown a monkey wrench into my food preps for camping. What's going on everybody? How's my outdoor crew doing on this Tuesday afternoon? I hope doing well. Being diabetic now. Things are starting to come around, getting the blood sugar down, um, eating healthier, all that good stuff. So we're heading the right direction. Blood pressure has been down for a couple weeks now. I've actually got it leveled out to a, a good safe. I mean, we're talking the 120s to 110s over 60 and 70, somewhere in there. So I'm feeling really good about the blood pressure. The blood sugar is coming down um, it's getting down where it needs to be between meals after meals all that good stuff now I'm checking at different intervals um, different times of the day sporadically so I get some kind of sense of where I am but I've run into a problem now i have making all kinds of good healthy choices food wise at home and everything but when I go camping, sometimes I like to take fast action, you know, let's boil it up or eat it up, whatever, and get done and be done with it. Now, car camping, I, I can do a lot more of, you know, like I did the last trip, I had a big old steak for dinner one night. Um, so I could do that in some kind of vegetable or something, and I'd be good to go but when you're backpacking or hiking or maybe doing a light camp otherwise you're putting the tent out for the night you want something fast and done type deal not so sure the mountain house or MREs are going to be the way to go anymore and let me give you an instance now the big thing with with me um, is carbs carbs and um, sodium gotta watch the sodium levels a little bit so like for instance this is a mountain house rice and chicken um just this package alone has 41 carbs now you can take your dietary fiber and subtract that from that um from that carbs which on here the dietary fiber is only one gram so I'm still having 40 carbs. It does have seven grams of protein, but that's about it. That's about, it's, you know, 740 milligrams of salt, just in this one. Teri chicken teriyaki and with rice. This one, another one, 41 grams of total carbs. Only two fiber come off of that, but it's got 13 grams of sugar in it. And another four, uh, 680 milligrams of sodium. So th those two are really and truly are kind of out for me right now. The breakfast skillet. This is the breakfast skillet wrap. But <laughs> total carbs, 30, which is not terribly bad. This one has four dietary fibers, only five grams of sugar, but 14 grams of protein. This one may not be so bad, except for when you get to the sodium, it's 930 milligrams of sodium. In the, in the calories, 400 calories, I'll burn off the calories doing camp stuff, so that's no big deal. But I have to, I, I have to look at that and go, that's almost a no-go, period. These things, I found these things, and I love them. These are the Bridgeford pizzas, ready to eat pizzas. One, one pizza contains 29 grams of carbs three grams of dietary fiber but it's also got two grams of protein on the good side it has 10 grams of protein uh two grams of sugar 10 grams of protein and 850 milligrams of salt now i know when you're out in the desert and that kind of thing or you know when they were um in iraq and stuff you know salt was a big thing you gotta have salt to replace now, I understand, you know, I need salt too, but to an extent, 800 milligrams of salt, or in this case, 
930 milligrams of salt. It's a lot. Okay, so here's a piece of an actual MRE. This is a spice pound cake, which these are really good. I like these. I've had them. 310 calories. No big deal there. Carbs. 38 grams. And only 1 gram of daily fiber. 20 grams of sugar. And only 3 grams of protein. Of course, it's a bread. So, I'm kind of having to stay away from the breads anyway. Um, this is another wheat snack bread and this is a wheat one so you would think okay it's wheat so it's gonna be better for you oh contraire mon frere so this one had 38 milligrams of carbs this one wheat snack bread has 30 so it only has eight less than this one it does have two grams of fiber. Now the one thing it does help this one out, it only has three grams of sugar and it does have four grams of protein. But you get up to the sodium, 350 milligrams. Holy crap. So anyway, I'm going to have to rethink um, my different meals and stuff, which kind of stinks because I got a bunch of this stuff, but I'll do something with it, you know, one of the kids will eat it. Um, so anyway, if you're diabetic and you watch my channel, I appreciate what you've done to control your diabetes. Help a boy out. So what would you do for quick action foods or something of that nature on a, say, a backpacking trip or small hiking trip where you want to eat a meal during the trip or if like I'm saying you know if you're just doing a quick overnighter and you want to do something like this what would you do all right guys that's it for now that's it for this Tuesday We're kind of keeping it on a cooking theme uh, because that is a big thing right now in my life is what I eat what I put in my mouth as far as food goes uh, drinking tons of water tons of water uh, I drink about almost a little over a gallon a day is what I'm drinking water-wise. And you can tell. Because I, I go to the bathroom quite often. <laughs> so, leave your suggestions down below. I would sure appreciate it. Anything you can do, you know, anything you can put out there will help. And like I said, I've got some ideas too that we're going to look at coming up soon. And might even share a couple of them with you in the kitchen. That will translate into the outdoors. All right, guys, that's it for now. I appreciate you watching. Oh, by the way, thanks to everybody that participated on the giveaway on Instagram. There will be another one here soon. So keep an eye out for that. And be prepared.